Hi guys, how about some salted fish today? So, to get started with the ingredients, we'll be needing some salt, some sugar, bay leaves, black peppercorns, and some coriander seeds. And don't worry about the sugar, you will not taste the sugar, it just equals out the saltness of the fish, so it's not too salty, but you'll not taste the sugar, I promise. Okay, so first what we're going to do is boil some water and once it's boiling, we're going to remove it from heat and stir in our salt and sugar and we're going to mix that to dissolve and after that, we will be uh, pouring the other ingredients which is the bay leaves, the coriander and the peppercorns. So, but right now we're just mixing and mixing to dissolve and then you want to just pour all that stuff and this needs to stay at room temperature uh, it needs to come to room temperature so do this first before you do anything else with the next step so here we're just mixing it more to dissolve and to get all that soaked to get all the flavors into the water so that's that and we're going to set this aside and let it cool to room temperature and in the meantime we will be dealing with our yummy fish and the fish you guys can use trout, salmon, here I have salmon um, and or it's steelhead so it's just a half and here my husband is removing the bones yeah I know we need those tweezers to pull them out but he he, he got it <laughs> so and then we remove the fins it, you don't have to remove the um, bones but it's just better after and just slice it to one inch thickness and put it into a bowl and once that's done and once this mixture has cooled to room temperature we're gonna go ahead and pour this over and mix it up mix it really good and then we're gonna put a plate that's gonna squish some waters out so as you can see I placed a I placed the bowl here but nothing is really coming out it's not really squishing the not really squishing the fish we need it like this that actually squishes the water out that means it's squishing the fish so this is what we're looking for and we will be um, putting this in the refrigerator for three days it's best so in the refrigerator it goes and we're going to be dealing with our next step which is the last step which is here we have some canola we're going to need canola oil uh, uh, some onions in a jar clean jar and our ready fish that we have set for three days already so we're going to be slicing we're going to take out the fish from the water and we're going to keep some of that peppercorns and some corianders so you just want to save a little bit of that but drain all away all that water and put the fish into this clean bowl so and then you want to slice your onions in half and then just slice them in halves so in half and then like that so and then so you'll have these nice halves and then put put a handful in the jar of uh, onions and then you're gonna go ahead and place some fish and then onions and some fish until you get all covered and throw in some black peppercorns in between and then we're gonna pour enough oil to cover the fish totally so it needs to be covered all the way and there we have it as you can see it's covered all the way and you just want to refrigerate the fish if you're not eating it and just keep it refrigerated and this oil will keep the moisture of the fish so it's great thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy like and subscribe thank you guys so much